keep on working my way down, I guess. That's really all there is to do in this area. Definitely one of those, uh, I don't know, kind of reminds me of, uh, of the Great Hollow, and that it's kind of a, uh, a horizontal design area rather than vertical. Kind of working your way down instead of around town, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Holy shit, this guy. Oh, he's going to kick my butt. Never mind. Never mind. I had it all under control the whole time. I don't know, I don't know why you're freaking out. I don't know why you're over there posting comments freaking out. Shitting on my play style. I'm the greatest Dark Souls player that ever was. Hey, a bonfire. I totally forgot about this bonfire. There's one nice thing about Tomb of the Giants. I mean, they do seem to give you plenty of bonfires. The area makes up for it by being pretty difficult. Ugh, burp. I may have just used one too many humanity. Uh, actually, wait, no, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. I'm good. I want to kindle it all the way. What's nice about kindling bonfires, too, is that they stay kindled for New Game Plus. So if you kindle a bonfire all the way up to plus 20, um, by the time you, you get back to that same bonfire for New Game Plus, it's still kindled. So you don't have to rekindle bonfires. You know, I'm trying to upgrade some armor. Upgrade my black iron armor. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know that if you upgrade the black iron set enough, it becomes one of the best iron sets in the game. If you fully upgrade it, it's like ridiculously good DPS. Or er, DPS. I should just say defense. My terminology sucks, alright? It's just the way it is, man. The way it is, alright. I need to cast some light. This area is about to get a whole lot harder <laughs> from what I remember. Uh, Tomb of the Giants is is about to become Tomb of the Kobe Bryant. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I, said. <laughs> I don't know what the joke was there. I'm just as conf as confused as you are. Okay. Well, I just accidentally <laughs> walked back to the bonfire. Thinking I had found a sneaky alternate route. I had not. Alright. Another white titanite chunk. I think I'm going to use those. You never know. New game plus is on the horizon. Might use it then. Alright, alright. Holy shit! Where the fuck did this guy come from? Holy shit, I'm out. Where the fuck did that guy even go? What? Oh, fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you, are you, oh. Where did that asshole even come from? Where did that back-spawning dickhead... Ooh. I am suing From Software and Miyazaki for, for that emotional stress and psychological trauma of being back spawned like that. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not the same skeleton, though. It couldn't have been this guy. There's no way it could have been this guy. I got back spawned by a big fucking sword guy. Well, anyway, there's my stuff. There's my souls. There's that guy again. Where's the big fucking skeleton? He's like off in the dark where I can I just can't see him barely. I can't tell. Whatever. I I have engaged in combat. Oh, there's one down. As far as I'm concerned, those are the big threats. These these like dogs. Four-legged whatevers. They're creepy, they're scary, and they hurt. They do a lot of damage. That's my that's my big worry. I still don't know where the fuck that one skeleton came from. It's haunting me. He's gonna come in behind me again and fuck my shit up. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want that item. I, I would like to find a safer way to get to it. Maybe this way? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew dropping down would just be stupid. I could do like a really good roll, but eh. Kind of a kind of hit or miss. My batting average with accurate rolling in Dark Souls is kind of meh. What's over here? Gorgeous view. Oh yeah, it's kind of like uh, the Ash Lake, kind of a kind of a dealio. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can dig it. Look <coughs> off. <coughs> This message say imminent dark wraith. I can't remember if that's true or not, but you know, I'll have my wits about me. Uh, ghost ahead. Probably nothing over here. Gorgeous view. Uh, <laughs> indeed. That is all that's over here apparently, unless like invisible wall. That'd be whack if there was an invisible wall right there. I would shit myself. But nah. Too good of an idea. Now we'll go in here. Which I think this is the way we're actually supposed to go. So this is... This is good. This is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I fucking hate these enemies, these weird like skeleton totem pole things. They're not they're not hard at all. They're just they get in your way and they're fucking annoying. <laughs> they just have this rapid slap attack that stun locks you too. They do quite a bit of damage. I mean they can kill you, don't get me wrong. Uh okay. I forgot that they can do that. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. I'm Pickle Rick. I knew there would be an ambush here. I knew it. Oh, great. Ooh. Yeah, see what I mean? I've been totem pulled. Okay, I've been double totem pulled. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, ooh. Ah. Uh, I see. I see this now. Fucking totem pole man and giant skeleton man are, are just gonna fucking give me the business like the best friends that they are. Couple of fucking fucks. It's alright. Coming back with a, a light bulb above my head, quite literally. A full boner and some serious enthusiasm. Here I go. Granted, I'm gonna try and run through this shit r relatively quick. But, eh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is already going really badly. Oh my god, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> fuck, 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 <laughs> Holy shit, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, I'm fucking, ah! Oh, 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 Man, my, oh god, that was, oh. My blood is fucking pumping. Get away from me, you son of a bitch. I've made it too far for you to ruin my ultimate Dark Souls speedrun. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I'm not having it. Whew. Man, that was like super shitty for a second there. We made it. Fucking made it. Get my souls back and everything. I mean, hopefully I can get my souls back. It's not really a done deal just yet. Hey, a crystal lizard, what the fuck? This, this guy wasn't here before. Unless I walked by him. I probably did. Huh, normally when you miss him though, you just miss him. They don't come back. Game gave me a second chance on that one. That's nice. Oh! You... 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 you you've got to be knitting me a sweater. I, <laughs> I mean that, 
I got no one to be mad at for, but myself for that. That was fucked up, Jesus Christ. I mean, it was all my fault. I literally thrusted myself off a cliff. Again, that was the second time. That was the second time this playthrough I've... I've thrusted myself off an edge with an attack like that. Fuck me, man. God damn it. God damn it. Son of a lily-livered Schmeckeldorf McGee. Did I even get my souls back before I died? It said retrieval, but I don't think the game registered that I got him back in time before I died. Which isn't really a big deal. I'm not really super worried about it. But it would be nice to be able to get those souls back, you know? Yeah, it looks like... Looks like I lost... I lost them. That's okay. I still have 3k, which ain't really shit this late in the game, but... Whatever. Whatever. It's okay. It was all my fault anyway. Like, I... <laughs> Terrible, my god. <laughs> Alright, well at least I can take care of these stupid enemies now. Hopefully not get backspawned again, because that was poopy. That was poopy McPooperton. Uh alright. I'm gonna I know this guy's gonna wait for the full ambush to unfold and then he's gonna pop up to box me in. That's how this whole stupid situation works. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna die at the same fucking... The exact same part. Because I'm not gonna do what Dark Souls wants me to do and learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna keep on making them. Because making mistakes is fun and easy. <laughs> and I like fun and easy. That's why I'm playing Dark Souls. Because it's 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 both of those things. I'm just kidding. I mean, Dark Souls is exceptionally fun, but easy it is not. <laughs> easy it is very not. I mean, I'm sure some fucking pretentious douche douche nozzle out there who's really into sniffing his own farts to get high is probably gonna tell you, oh yeah, dude, Dark Souls is easy. Anyone who thinks that game is hard is just a fucking pleb who never played a video game in their life, and it's just like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I, I bet you can't even tie your shoes. I hate people that try to act like Souls games aren't hard. Because honestly, that's the point. That's why people play them, is because they're challenging, and it's fun. But hey, now we're here, and... Oh, I forgot about this. It's a bunch of, like, pinwheels. Like, pinwheel-type enemies. Weird floating fire mages. I don't know what these guys are. They look like pinwheel. They look like a bunch of pinwheel copies. Except these guys actually do stuff. As far as I can tell, pinwheel doesn't do anything. <laughs> pinwheel makes these clones of himself and then waits for you to beat the shit out of him. It's like, uh, I'm just kidding. Pinwheel, pinwheel can kill you. Pinwheel can definitely take you off guard. Especially during a first time playthrough. I will say though, I've never been killed by Pinwheel. I can proudly... I mean, I guess not really proudly. He's a... He's a damn simple boss. He's, he's pretty easy. Like I said, you know, he's kind of Dark Souls throwing you a bit of a bone. Like, hey, here's this really easy boss real quick just to keep your hopes up, keep your spirits going. Not every not every boss needs to be dick hard, I suppose. These guys are surprisingly durable. If I went up to him with melee, I could probably get a bit more done with that. Except I don't remember how much damage this fire shit does. I remember it doing like a ton of damage. I could throw on some fire resistant armor. Holy shit. Ow. Oh, I forgot about these little baby skeleton things. They toxify you, and they're also, like, eerily adorable. And they also drop humanity. I remember this is, like, a really good place to grind for humanity. If you end up being low on it. I'm pretty abundant if, with humanity right now, but... If you end up needing humanity, this is a great place to grind it. All you need to do is... 
boost your item discovery as much as you can. And, um... You are, you are good to go. Cause yeah, these, th these things will actually infinitely spawn. They're, there's an infinite spawn of them. You have to watch out for toxic, because they can't toxify you, which sucks, but... Other than that, they'll, uh, they're just these <laughs> little adorable little skeletons that spawn infinitely. And every now and then, they'll drop a little humanity for you. Pretty easy way to get some humanity. Those fucking pinwheel things die fast as shit when I use my sword. Also, my uh, my recording just did a thing, so if there's any like weird random jump cuts that don't re like like s two second jump cuts, then that would be because my recording is being weird. But it should be fine. If anything pops up, I'll just go in and edit it and fix it. Ain't no thang. Ain't no thang. All right, so that's the way we need to go towards the boss. Soul of a hero. I'm going to explore the rest of this room, though. Just in case, you know. Might be some stuff here. Ooh, what's this? A white titanite slab. Uh, let me think. Uh, I need to... There we go. I believe I need to make sure that I have um, a store of straight sword equipped because I think I need my divine weapon ready for this boss fight not for the boss himself but for his henchmen in the arena um, I think you need a divine weapon to kill them permanently or else the boss will respawn them as for the boss we're going to fight uh, we're going to fight grave lord Nito. The cool-ass looking Grim Reaper guy from the opening cutscene. He's pretty cool. I would say as a boss, he's kind of disappointing, at least in my opinion. Just like, I don't know, he's he's suspiciously easy for, for how he looks in the cutscene. He's cool though, I mean, I'll give him that. Try stealth. Kind of got a point. And you lose half your health when you land in the arena. Pretty sweet. Ooh! And, and that. So yeah, what you need to look out for when you're fighting Nito. First of all, keep your distance at the beginning of the fight. And wait for his skeleton men to roll over to you. Kill them with your divine weapon. And then once we're done killing these guys, we're going to switch back to the Uchi Katana. And then whenever you hear that scream... Just get the fuck out of wherever you are. Just start rolling, sprinting, do whatever you gotta do. Just move. Because whenever you hear that scream, that's when those red spikes are gonna come up through the ground. And fuck your shit up. It's probably... I would say that's probably Nito's most devastating attack. I don't even... Yeah, these guys aren't even aggroed. So if I can just fight Nito on this side, then we're in business. Alright, pull the Uchi Katana out. And here we go. And he fucking grabbed me first thing. Great. Great. Did that really not do any... What? What did that do? If no damage, what did that do? I don't understand. I don't understand, Nito. Oh, he's doing like an AoE. Yeah, that AoE, I, I can't remember how you're supposed to avoid... I think you need to like take cover behind the... Uh, the pillars in the center of the arena when he does that. Which means lock off and then sprint over there. Uh, he's going to do it again, isn't he? I'm just going to tank it. I don't care. I'm just going to fucking tank it. Whatever. Fuck you, Nito. 
Fucking halfway dead already. Yeah, as long as you kind of stay behind him, and then when he does his AoE, you either run away or you do what I'm doing and just tank it with your shield and armor. Should be good to go. He's doing it again, but he's... He's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Nito. This was a fun, but fairly easy fight. And we get the Lord Soul. I don't know why he got a whole Lord Soul and not just a bequeathed shard like those other fags, but whatever. Nito's down. That leaves two, I think, two more bosses. Not total in the game. We've got we've we've got more than two bosses to fight, but like main bosses in order to get the Gwyn Soul shards or whatever. We've got two two more bosses to do for that. Which means like two main areas that we need to go visit. And then after that, well, Bada bing, bada boom. It's time to advance to the, the very end of the game. Um, now that I now that we're back here with all these souls, we're gonna go visit the giant blacksmith, and we're gonna buy a lump sum of twinkling titanite. What am I gonna do with it? Well, I'm gonna upgrade my motherfucking armor. My motherfucking armor. I know you're real excited about that. It's upgrade time. Everybody loves upgrade time. I don't care who you are. Alright, let me get my bow back out too. Let's see how strong we are against these guys now. Test our, our newfound vigor. Quite a bit of damage. Oh, he's already down. Yeah, man. We're, we're in a good spot. We're in a pretty good spot. I mean, the Uchi Katana is almost... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I, the fuck? I got impaled with a great arrow. Alright, I'll show you. I'll show you, buddy. I will show you the ways of the Force. Come here, you. See, that guy was Disney Star Wars. But I'm LucasArts Star Wars. Oh, shit. Or does Disney... Oh, okay. I think I fucked that up. I'm an idiot. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know that much about companies. I only know coughing. Okay? I don't even know why I'm bothering with this guy. I really just want to go visit the giant blacksmith and get my, my stupid twinkling titanite. I wish there was a bonfire at the giant. That'd make my, my life just a lot easier. I'm having real trouble fighting this guy right now. Can't seem to get past his big bulky shield. There we go. Yeah, stab him in the knees. Perfect. Come on. Perfect. Yes. The running jab. No item. I don't know if those guys ever drop items. I'm sure they they may may drop something. I have no idea what it would be. Definitely not a weapon. I'm assuming their weapons are pretty huge. Hello, giant blacksmith. Don't mind if I trail some weird pink gargoyles into your home? Don't worry, I'll take them out. More souls for me. A oh, fuck over here. I hate these fucking things. I think those might be my least favorite enemy in the game. Except they, they just... I don't know, they're not very frequently occurring. That's good. Alright, um, I need to buy Twinkling Titanite. Uh, I will buy, I'll probably buy all of them, TBH. Sink all my money into that. Alright, sweet. Now that I have that, let's use a Homeward Bone. Homeward Bone it up, baby. I did not expect to be brought back to this bonfire, but no matter. Uh, let's upgrade some shit. Let's upgrade our... Huh. Just 
just as I thought, you can't upgrade Havel's stuff, but I kind of knew that, so that's fine. You can't upgrade the Black Iron stuff, and I think once you upgrade it enough, you can actually make it better than Havel's stuff. And it's less heavy. Start upgrading the fuck out of this helmet. We'll upgrade the armor too. Alright, cool. Better armor is always a good thing to have in this game. Uh, but I think that's probably going to be the end of this episode. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. When we come back next time, we will be doing some other stuff on the road to beating Dark Souls. And that'll be that. I will see you guys then.